This is broccoli. These are curly fries. And this is me. I'm Curly Fry Guy, and this is Chapter of Life. Okay, so now before we start, I'm gonna have to backtrack just a few years back so we can kind of properly set the date. So let me this date right here, and then on just a uh, one, two, three, and okay. So now we just put that down. All right. So now it's my senior year of high school. Wait, was it senior or junior year? Yeah. So now we're in my senior year of high school. So optimistic. So full of ambition, so free from heartbreak, and unshattered by the impending doom that is known as college. Anywho, so now we're in the middle of the school year and the annual blood drive just so happens to be coming by and they're putting up flyers and everything saying donate blood, donate blood, yeah, you could save a life. And you know, that actually encouraged me a lot because I just so happen to have O negative blood. And in case if you don't know, there are eight different blood types. There's A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive and O negative. And I just so happen to be O negative, which, in case you didn't know, is able to give blood to any other blood type, which basically means I'm a real life superhero. I could take out the blood from me and give it to somebody else and they live. So the day comes when it's finally time to donate blood and everybody's going to the gym of the school. I go over there and I just see all this nice medical equipment. There's a whole bunch of friendly doctors there and stuff like that, giving you cookies, milk. I feel like a kid again. I wish I didn't grow up. And after a few minutes of waiting there, doctor finally calls me up and starts asking me a few uh, personal questions. You know, the typical medical thing that you really don't want your mother finding you know. out. Okay, Mr. Curly Fry Guy, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Some of them may be a little personal, then I'm hoping you can answer them truthfully. Is that alright? Uh, no. Fantastic. Now, question one. Have you ever had sex with a hooker? Mmm, no. Alright, question two. Have you ever done heroin? Ah, uh, no. Fantastic. Now, question three. Have you ever done heroin with a hooker and also shared the same needle? Ah, uh, no. Alright, now, question four. Have you ever- I've never done heroin or been with a hooker. Fantastic. So then after all those questions, they prick my finger, do little test results just to make sure I'm not lying and I don't have any diseases in my blood, which I don't, but they didn't believe me, so they kept with it. Then they sent me down this nice comfy chair. Well, these was comfy for me. I don't know. I'm able to sleep on rocks and I don't have a problem with it, but it's a nice comfy chair. I'm leaning back and then all of a sudden, doctor grabs my arm and stretches it out, ties a rope around my arm just to cut off the circulation just a little bit, then gives me a squishy ball and says, Says, hey, you know what? Let's leave you alone for five minutes and just squeeze that, okay? So the doctor leaves me alone for a couple minutes with this squishy ball, and you know, the circulation is cutting off in my arm a little bit, but it's okay, I'm saving lives, aren't I? And after a couple of minutes, doctor comes back, takes away the squishy ball, takes away the strap on my arm. Now, I'm not a person that's usually squeamish to blood or needles or anything like that. I'm usually not scared of anything, really, because I'm a tough man. <laughs> However, the needle they used on me wasn't your typical syringe needle. And if you've donated blood, you know what I'm talking about. The needle that they use for donating blood is like a boba straw. In case you don't know what boba straws are, look up boba on Google and you will see why I was terrified out my mind. So they stick this straw in my arm and I'm low-key freaking out because I think they're about to take my brains through my veins. But as they stick this needle in my arm, both of us look concerned because we realize there is no blood coming through the tube. Then the doctor decides to leave me alone while there is a huge metal stick inside my arm. He leaves for about five minutes and I'm um, kind of concerned because I cannot move anywhere even if I wanted to because there is a piece of metal shrapnel in my arm. Then after about a couple of minutes, the doctor comes back with his assistant and by assistant, I mean the actual doctor. Then she starts assessing the situation. Huh. Okay, I know how to fix this. The doctor starts fiddling around with the needle in my arm. Pulls it out just slightly, then stabs my arm again. 
So after doing all of that, there's still no blood being drawn out of my arm, so she does the smart thing. Okay, so that's not it. Mm, what, what else can I do? And does the same process all over again. Okay, this didn't work the first time around, but I know it'll work the second time, trust me, I'm a doctor. Then after about stabbing my arm 20 times, they come to the realization that the tube still has the clip on it! Oh. I see the problem now. There. You're all good, Sonny. And that's the reason why the blood wasn't flowing. So, in reality, instead of the blood flowing out of me, it was all packed inside my arm. But you know what? It's all good because I finally saved a life. I don't need a blood for the first time, so there was this relief knowing that somebody will benefit off my pain. And that left me very satisfied. Until the very next day when I looked at my arm and it was nothing but purple all over. And then I thought to myself, okay, okay, calm down. It's just a bruise. It'll go away. Don't worry about it. And the bruise did go away. After a month. And after it decided to change from purple to red to green. Then I thought to myself, you know what? It's still worth it. So many people live because you have O negative blood and you donate it to so many people. Then I get a letter in the mail saying I have A negative blood. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to give a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. I'm Curly Fry Guy, and this is Chapter of Life.